always got to be extra careful with freshly minted IPOs. Back at the beginning of May, I introduced you to Yext, a newly public tech company with a cloud-based platform that helps businesses manage important information online, like their location, phone number, hours of operation, sync you all this stuff up with other hundred services, including Google Maps, Facebook, Siri, and Yelp, among many others. Yex makes it so you don't need to coordinate with dozens of different social media plays. Their easy-to-use technology disseminates accurate information to everybody. Still, I was skeptical. I fear competition on the web at all times, and I'm wary of companies that are losing, not making money. So even if they're growing very fast. However, on this show, we're always willing to listen to the other side of the story. So let's take a closer look with Howard Lerman. He's the co-founder and CEO of Yext to get a better sense of how his company's doing, where it's headed. Mr. Lerman, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Thank Have you a seat. for having me. Thank you. Him. Thank you. Okay. So you're, uh, I, when I go to your website, it says you're the single source of truth for the public facts about your company. So tell me how that works. Well, Jim, we are witnessing a massive platform shift from mobile to intelligence. It used to be that when you look for something, you'd find 10 blue links back on a page. Right. But now when you go to search for something, you get a structured direct answer. So if I were to go and ask, hey, Siri, where is the nearest McDonald's? Okay, Howard, here's what I found. She just tells me the answer directly. Right. There's no web result there. And no. for every business in the world, this is a huge deal because their websites used to be the centerpiece of their digital experience. But now at the exact moment of intent, it's maps, it's voice search, and it's knowledge card answers. And that's why we founded Yext. Well, I want to stop you there because I, I like this idea. We'll take it further. Out, uh, with Yext, if I wanted a broccoli cheddar uh, soup, I would be able to get to where I got it, right? Because that's how you talk about Panera. That is a detailed part of what we call digital knowledge. Every intelligence service, whether it's Google or Apple or Facebook, they all have three layers. They have their UI, they have their algorithms, and they have their knowledge base. Their knowledge base is where Yext comes in. For our customers, we sync all their digital knowledge, all the details about, for example, the Panera menu, the right. broccoli cheddar soup item. Or if Citibank wants to change the phone number of one of their branch locations, they just put that information into Yext, and boom, it updates instantly on over 100 different Intelligence if they services. didn't do that, what would happen is, is that they would have it right on their site, but everybody else it would have to be by hand. You'd have to call each person. Every intelligence service, remember those three layers? Yes. That knowledge layer, that's almost like a giant database of all the facts about the company. And, and, what, and, and every intelligence service compiles this knowledge base from multiple third-party sources, like web crawling, right. for example, or user-generated content. The challenge is when there's conflicts. Suppose a company's website says they open at 8, but a user reports they open at 10. Well, we think the ultimate authority is the business. It's not enough for a business to just sit back and hope that the right information is found. The we truth. proactively push the truth into the world. Now, uh, my, one of my concerns was you're growing 37. You're, you've got great revenue growth. Um, you're doing land grab, which is right. You want to be. You want to make it so nobody else comes in. But at what point do you think that you uh, will be profitable? Well, we've, last quarter, when we issued our, our guidance, we went on the record saying we believe we'll be profitable by the end of next, uh, cash, on a cash flow basis by the end of next year, give okay. or take a quarter. So we got to hold you to that. I mean, obviously, because you, you're a new public company. I know that uh, we are always wary because we want to see both that expansion, but we also have to balance that with bad losses. This is a huge market. There are more than 100 million locations in Google Maps alone. We have a million, so we're only 1% penetrated into what we could do. That number doesn't even contemplate other entities like menus, like we talked about, right. which we charge for and charge by. We have more than a $10 billion addressable market where we can go out and win. We believe, by the way, this is a winner-take-all market. Yeah. Our business benefits from a huge network effect. You cannot just call up Apple and tell them you want to update a fact on Siri. Okay, I want to talk to you just for the last minute. June thir 13th, uh, new product, App Directory. How, what, how is that doing? All the biggest software companies, from Salesforce to Workday, are all platforms. Right. They have the CRM platform for Workday. There's, relation, right. Yeah, there's employee workforce management. Yext is all about digital public knowledge, the facts. Today, that's best expressed on a company's website in an unstructured form. 
we enable companies to structure that knowledge and push it out to the world, but also enable them to integrate now with one click internally across the enterprise with great apps like HubSpot, Salesforce, Zendesk. Well, uh, you know, I know people use you. I know people work at your company, and it's growing like it's growing like mad. And now I'm going to hold to that profitability idea, but you're in the right spot. You're Thank you, certainly Jim. in the right spot. That's Howard Lerman, the CEO of Yext, and he wants it all. They are right now pretty much the only game in town. Man, buddy's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.